Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video, we're talking about some of those underrated, underappreciated and underloved spaces and some tips on how you can take the most advantage of them and decorate them and get your place looking gorgeous and beautiful and less chic approved. We have got a lot to get through, so let's get into the video. Now the first space we're talking about is actually the mudroom. And not everybody has one and that's okay. We don't all live in big, giant, massive mansions and that's okay. But you should be taking the fullest advantage of your entry space in a way that suits your needs. And a mudroom idea, the principles behind it and things we can incorporate into an entry in that style are actually really great. So one of those things would be some sort of hook like storage. A mudroom usually has sort of cubbies in it that you can hang things in separately and each person gets one. Set up a couple of hooks in your entryway that everyone gets, especially if you live in a colder climate and don't have a coat closet. If you are the person that's like, as soon as I get in the house, I gotta take off the jacket, take off the bag, set it all up and hang it there. Get a hook on that wall for each person there. The next thing to think about is a place to sit down and take off your shoes. If it's rainy, if it's snowy, if there is mud on the ground, you're not walking in my house with those shoes, that's for sure. So take them off at the door, have a seat to sit on and look for a bench that has some sort of space or storage underneath it where you can put those things. Having a basket there is great for putting the dog leashes and leads or if you need to put the shoes in the basket for off season, like it's winter now, you're gonna be wearing boots, put the sandals in the drawer. You want the storage and the versatility a mudroom offers, and you can build this into any sort of entry or hallway space, as long as you've got just a little bit of that room. It's also worth noting that if you have a family and you, your husband, your kids, and the dog are all coming in the house at the same time, you are going to have a blocked area there, and you're going to need to move some of that space, some of that entry area where people are hanging up their coats and taking off their shoes a little bit further away from the door. So everyone can get in, you can close the door, save the heating or the air conditioning and get that space cleared out a little bit so people aren't shuffling through. That's a great way to increase the functionality of an entry space and create that mudroom like effect off of any door. Even if it's the back door, the front door, whatever that is, a useful space and a well-organized space is always a beautiful one that will definitely benefit any and every home. Now the next space worth mentioning that is underappreciated and undervalued is actually the butler's pantry. Not everyone has the space for that and I completely appreciate that. I don't have it and I wish I did because I love a butler's pantry. Some of you have asked about the history of it, which is actually really interesting. So older homes typically would not have had a kitchen built in because they had a tendency to catch on fire and burn everything down. So what families in large homes would do is have a separate prep space called the butler's pantry and it would be an area where fine china and dishes and silver wine was kept and food would come in from the kitchen, be replated, and then served for dinners, for meals. And it was really just a storage space that had a little bit of countertop to use to make things beautiful, and that was that. I love a butler's pantry today because it has a lot more to do with usability, functionality, and storage, and they are just really gorgeous and kind of decorative. It's worth looking into whether or not you wanna add some of those butler pantry features into your home. Focus on adding furniture pieces or cabinetry that offers a lot of that display storage, like a break front or a china cabinet. I have a gorgeous vintage silver chest that holds my massive set of silverware, and I absolutely adore it. It creates the functionality of a butler's pantry for me, but I get to have a really beautiful piece of furniture in my space and a really cool conversation piece. Adding a countertop-like surface into a dining room or into a kitchen can be great as a place to set up a buffet, to serve off of, or to display some of your beautiful things. A butler's pantry does not have to be just a singular room meant for that. You can kind of set up a hallway or any space, a transitional space in your home into a butler's pantry like space and I think that's beautiful. It's a creative way to add storage, add functionality, and have your beautiful things out on display because if you spend the money on them you might as well see them. Now the next underutilized and underappreciated space in a home is actually a hallway. 
I adore a hallway because these are transitional spaces that connect different rooms together. When you have a lot of bedrooms or living and dining rooms off of a hallway, each of those spaces tends to have their own personality and their unique individual. A hallway is a great place to make all of that come together. And you can do that through accessories or photographs, add an interesting wallpaper or a rug. I'm not personally the biggest fan of furniture pieces in a smaller hallway. I think if your hallway is less than four feet wide, you really don't need to have furniture there because it impedes on the walkway and the flooring space. It's a safety issue, but I would recommend if you've got a really beautiful wide hallway, add a cabinet, add some lamps, do something cool to that space. But I actually think those smaller hallways can be the most impactful. Add a row of beautiful chandelier-like light fixtures to them, add some wallpaper, crown molding, maybe a chair molding. I just love paneling of any sort. Hallways are really, really great places to make a big impact in your home and connect different spaces. So pull an element from each of those spaces. Maybe it's a color, maybe it's a texture, a pattern, or just a detail. Add them into that hallway. All together, you create a really bold, impactful space but you are also creating a relationship between two completely different spaces in one. It makes things feel like they are a part of a whole as opposed to individual rooms that feel completely disconnected from the rest of the home. While we are on the topic of design features, if you wanna add a little bit of design and spice up your life, be sure you take a moment and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to get notified every time I upload. Here on the Le Chic channel, you are a part of the family when you hit that subscribe button, so be sure you do and let me know after you have done so in the comment section down below so I can personally welcome you to the channel. Now the next underappreciated and underutilized space in your home that we can definitely take some more advantage of is the laundry room. Most people do not have a big oversized laundry space and that's okay. Sometimes they're in these really transitional spaces like an entryway off of your garage or it might even just be literally a hallway between your garage and the rest of your house. Mine is in a closet and that's okay. Some people only have the teeniest little space and they stack a washer and dryer, but you can have such a big impact in a small space like that. You can wallpaper a small closet with a washer and dryer. You can paint it, you can add shelving and storage of all sorts. If you've got that really thin little closet and you maybe have just a little bit of space, look for some hanging racks for some of your brooms, a dustpan, a vacuum, whatever that is. I love that. I love getting a piece of organization and storage to get something off the floor that doesn't need to be there. But even if you've got a little bit more space, get creative with it because adding more storage, getting more organized, and getting creative in a small space like a laundry room is so amazing. They also tend to be spaces that get kind of dusty a little bit and it's nice when things are all tidy and put away to keep them clean. A great way of doing this is adding a shelf adding some baskets into the space to store some of those linens, to store some of your cleaning supplies, maybe even re-bottle some of those soaps and detergents. That way they look really gorgeous, they're stunning, they're beautiful, or put them in a cabinet behind a closed door where you don't have to see them, love that also. Add some features to the space, a little detail, an element like a paneled ceiling, like an interesting element on a wall, like a wallpaper, or like paneling in there as well. I love that, I think it can be so bold in a small space space, especially since a lot of people use those spaces as entryways into their home. It's worth taking your time and putting a little bit of effort into a space that is very utilitarian because it can make a chore into a feature, into an element, into an experience. And I think that is so beautiful. It's gorgeous to have in your home. A lot of you also don't have laundry rooms at all. Maybe you just have a washer dryer combo in your kitchen. That's great too. Have it built in, add some countertop space on top of it. Take advantage of the space you have and make the most of it. I think that's fantastic, that's gorgeous. And you can do so much in a small little teeny tiny laundry room that is really impactful and will make the difference in your home. The next underrated space in a home is one of my personal favorites and that is the closet. I love a well-organized, tidy, and put-together closet. 
I am not a person that deals with clutter, that deals with things being out of place all that well, so I like to take the fullest advantage of the closets in my home and add the most amount of storage. I also am a believer that if you have a wardrobe, if you are having that moment where you're getting ready, you like that experience, it should be put together beautiful, dust-free, clean and tidy, well-organized to increase the experience in your daily rituals of getting ready. That's something super important to me. I'm also a luxury lover. If you follow me on Instagram, not that I do all that well posting all that often, but that's not the point. I love to post and share some of my beautiful things and fashion elements moments. I love designer bags and shoes and jewelry and all of that. That's okay. You don't have to if you don't like to, that's up to you. But I like for my space to be super well organized. For me, when I was a kid, I hated plastic and wire hangers. They just drove me crazy and I was like, I'm gonna have made it when I have all wooden hangers in my closet. And guess who has all wooden hangers in their closet? Me. No more plastic hangers! I like all of the hangers in my closet to match no matter the style of them. I prefer wood, I have wood pant hangers, but sometimes you need the velvet hangers to keep things from slipping and falling. I also get those to match. They're all black and silver in my house, in my closet, everywhere, because it's cohesive, it's easy, it's simple. If you've got a big walk-in closet, it's always nice to have some really gorgeous professional cabinetry installed, but that's really expensive. Getting creative with what you have available to you, what's in your budget and what you can do yourself is actually a really great way to increase the storage functionality of your home. For me, I can't see piles of clothes or shoes. I can't see a mess. I have to have clean floor space because I got a vacuum, I got to clean it. It has to be dust free. Otherwise it's going to be an entire situation that I'm not dealing with. So I definitely recommend you do the same because it will increase the experience, increase the beauty of the space. And the more organized and tidier your closets are, the more storage and organizational space you have, making things so much easier on you. Now the next underrated and underutilized space in a home is the space above cabinetry. I talk about it all the time that I do not like that. And if you have the option to add more cabinetry up to the ceiling, I recommend you do so. But not everybody has that option. Sometimes you've got 14 foot ceilings. Sometimes you've got vaulted ceilings. Sometimes you're renting or you just don't have the budget to do that. Totally okay. There are so many great things you can do with that space. I talk about adding lighting. That's beautiful. A upward glow is gorgeous in a kitchen above any sort of cabinetry, but those spaces tend to get very dusty and don't get cleaned all that often. You all share with me that you love to put newspaper on the top of them so you don't have to get the vacuum, get the spray, get the rag and dust all of this and get all of the dust in the air and into your face. You like to put newspaper so you can just pick it all up, toss it all out, and there you go. I think that's a fabulous idea to take advantage of that space and make it the least amount of maintenance it can be. Something worth considering on top of your cabinets is decor. I don't love a ton of it, like I've shared numerous times, but I think there are certain elements you can actually add on top of those cabinets that make sense and look good. Things like baskets, things like in your kitchen, you want it to be relating to cooking. So maybe you have vintage appliances or vintage signs from restaurants or something like that that you collect. That's great to put up there. There's a lot of beautiful things, but I would avoid the fake plants. I would avoid the kitschy decor. Things that need to be used, but you actually can't use because they're on top of a cabinet and you can't reach are definitely things to avoid putting on top of them. Also, I know I said signs, but let's steer clear of the word signs. We know it's a kitchen. We know we need to eat there. We don't need to see all of that. I love a kitschy moment for you, but let's just steer clear of that one. It's a favor I'm asking for you to do for me. Love that for me. Now the next space worth considering because it is underrated and we can definitely take advantage of it is actually outdoor spaces. And I'm not just talking about your backyard, your patio, whatever. I'm talking about windows and actually balconies. I have a ton of balconies on my house and it's really great, beautiful, I love them. I'm literally looking out the window, looking at one right now and it's gorgeous, but they actually need some refurbishment and we're gonna get to the exterior of our house come winter, but Decorating those spaces definitely makes the interior feel a lot more beautiful. And even with a window, you can add a window box outside of your window and plant it, have a mini little garden. Even if you're in an apartment, you definitely check with the building or whoever's in charge of that 
to make sure you can do that. Maybe you plant an herb garden. I think that's great because you're taking advantage of a space that you weren't otherwise using. Don't forget about what you are seeing outside of your window. Even if you don't have the most expansive view, if it's not a skyline view or a view of some mountains or whatever, you can definitely take advantage of having that window there and put something beautiful outside of it plant the space, do a little garden patio setup. I think that's so beautiful. And it definitely enhances what's happening inside your house when you consider what you are looking out at outside of your house. Well, there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Share with me what is one underrated, underutilized space in a home that you're like, why is no one taking advantage of this? Be sure you give this video a like, and I also know that you know someone that they are looking at a brick wall outside of their window, and you're like, honey, put a plant in it or something. Give us a little bit of life going on here. Share this video with them, because friends help friends, and I will see you in the next one.